Does it change yeah, if, as I walk? Does it automatically yes, update? Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. and you can see. I would use this. It works. See? Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, found it. Like, right. It helps me plan my entire conference experience. So this is really designed for inside use. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. where GPS doesn't work. Hey, I'm Neil. I'm with Alfie Labs. And we are here at AWE to showcase our ability to precisely place digital information in this space. We're a spatial positioning company that built this decentralized spatial positioning service. We're working closely with AWE for this new conference today in the May, early June in Santa Clara, California, to provide this digital layer to the Expo Hall. So, Stephanie. Hi. It's really great to see you. I know. It's been a little while, but uh, it's exciting to catch up and share what we're building here at Alki Labs and what we've done uh, with our app for AWE. So, I think I was mentioning to you earlier, and yesterday we were hanging out, that we built this, in conjunction with AWE, this digital expo layer, right? So when people arrive here, you can scan in using these QR codes. There's 60 of them in the space, and then when you scan any of them, you're in this coordinate system that allows you to experience digital content, labels, banners, signage, where the bathrooms are, where food is, and so on, like in the, in the space, right. as a helpful way to landmark and navigate to what you want to see in the space. So you want to try this out? I would love It'd to be try super this out. Fun, it sounds right? really exciting. Yeah, awesome. All you need to do is scan this QR code, right? And you'll get the app. So the first thing to do is, yeah, awesome. Oh, you already got it. Fantastic. Um, yeah, so now all you got to do is scan this QR code and you'll get a little feedback, a little haptic feedback when you've scanned. Great. And so now you can start seeing oh, wow. this digital content. In each room, we've got these animated banners. We've got labels for major booth sponsors, sort of where the food is, where different areas of the of the expo are. Does it change if, as I walk? Does it automatically yes. update? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. And you can see there are actually distance indicators on them. Okay. So. Where should we go? I haven't, I haven't walked lessons. the floor yet. You haven't walked the floor? No. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Yeah, no, I think this is very easy to use. I appreciate how legible everything is and how clean the UI is, because I think sometimes people can get too artsy and then you can't read it and then it loses its functionality. So, And it will be, like to your point earlier about design, it's like you guys have a great functional layer that is very simple, that is easy to use, and then also layering on that, whether it's color coding or functionality or things along those lines, that design layer will take everything to the next level. And I'm excited to see how you layer on that design phase to yes. make it even stronger as a product. Yes, yeah. Oh, thank you. Fantastic. So you scan that, you got the App Store link, you're gonna get the app. So this and is an AWE branded app that I assume is like your tech. We built it. Powering. Yeah, yeah. We built it, you know, in conjunction with AWE's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's done. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Okay, cool. So, so yeah. I get the bottom of this. So you're here, and now you just want to scan this with that app. Nice double use of the QR code too. This is why we use QR codes. Some yeah. people have said. Have you tried, you know, thought about using other kinds of markers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we want to dual purpose it, it's, it's right? totally For discovery. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And the fact that I can so, scan that and open the app and then scan the same exact thing again to then unlock, that's like... It makes sense, right? So now you can see, so we haven't labeled every booth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so, so now you're into this domain and you can and it's, see... It's running like an AR session that that helps anchor. Yes, exactly. So yeah. Then it could just be a little like compass or something. But think from there and do yeah, it. yeah. Exactly. But yeah. that's like your, that's incredibly useful. I would use this uh, at a conference. That was comprehensive in terms yeah, of yeah. like being able to yeah. search and for that's things, that's a very right? way of, yeah. of opening it up. So yeah, I mean, um, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of customers who are in, for example, like a museum space, and they have, they want to add, start adding digital, uh, elements overlaid into the into the their environments like a, a perfect example that comes up all the time is a, is a tour guide or a curator right. yep. and they want to introduce a painting or talk about a show and and bring that more kind of uh human relatable 
uh, element to it without having someone just standing there all the time and being exhausted, like talking to everyone. But really at a high level, there's all these new spatial canvases coming uh, and our world is becoming increasingly more spatialized in the digital realm. And within that, the ability to bring natively present but authentic human performances and messages and presentations is, is a key part of it. In the same way that a, a lot of video or a lot of content that we see in flat is people in videos. So this is really designed for inside use. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. where GPS doesn't work. Exactly. Yeah. Scanning spaces and creating digital twins and uploading those to the cloud and doing like, that's the status quo of how digital information and objects are placed in space is that you create digital twins of everything mm -hmm. by continually scanning everything. And so, you know, the companies that are doing that, yeah. Niantic and Google Spatial Anchors and so yeah. on, you know, have taken a stance that for privacy reasons, we they just don't do indoor spaces, right? right. Like, right. And that's fine. Yeah. Um, but we feel like there's much more yeah. utility to be gained by doing this in indoor spaces. Yeah. And so we need to do this in a privacy preserving way. And yeah. so Alki Labs doesn't scan your environment. It doesn't collect any data, like I'm saying. Yeah. And so we just enable the placement of digital information. Yeah. I'm really excited, you know, Alan, my friend, to show you this app that we've created. Let's go so, check it out. So let's go check it out. Because I mean, it's here, right? It is. And Somewhere? Works? Yeah, just have at it. I mean, you're a pro at this stuff. You understand it. I'm at all. Right, so you can scan a QR code. There's an actual I need to go to the washroom, so let's use this. You want to do that? Yeah, we're going to make our way. Um, yes. That we've Washrooms got, are still that way, OK? You know, we haven't labeled everything, but we've labeled a bunch of so areas. So the playground, playground my auntie, the playground is 300 feet that way. <laughs> <laughs> so theoretically, there should be a washroom right here, right? I think right around this corner. I guess, theoretically, it should be here. We're getting closer. Was that the washroom in there? This. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> it works. See? Yeah, fantastic. We'll wait for you out here, huh? Amazing. All right. Yeah. Found it. Found it. It's super useful, and there's a couple of things that I can think for. Obviously, for finding things in a, in a trade show, having it all mapped out, that's super cool. And also, there's got to be a way to synchronize it to another person's phone to put a beacon up, so you can find somebody. Like, find my friend, and it just yeah. it says sends a, a flag, an IR flag out of your friends. You'd be like, oh, my friend is 300 feet that way, or 300 right. meters, I'm Canadian. Yep. So I want to go that way 300 meters and find my friend. I, I like the fact that you don't have to scan the room, you don't have to worry about that, you're just using the QR codes, which are placed everywhere. So if you're if it loses track and whatever, you just point at another QR, there's one there, there's one there, there's one in every everywhere. The fact that it never lost tracking, no matter what I did, and I walked around and did all the things, that's super cool. That's unique. Yeah. Why don't you start you bringing out phone? your phone okay. and just scan that with like so any you camera. Keep having a mobile device, okay. It is. Well, um, oh, and look how far it scans from. Okay. There you go. And you'll get a little feedback. And then once you do, you oh. can see digital labels and information in the space. Oh, and some of it's that. like animated banner. Some you of it's like. You know how much trouble I have finding different booths of different companies? Yeah. You know? I mean, it's easy to get turned around, easy, right? right? It's a, definitely often, often difficult to find places because there are there are no there's no signage above the walls of the booth, right? So how am I supposed to differentiate one from the other? It's hard to see, yeah. Exactly. Um, and then also the fact that you have uh, the the distance to the booth is really interesting as well because I didn't even know how how big this expo floor was before I had to walk the entire thing to get to a place. So it right. helped. It would help me manage my time better. Does that help you decide whether to go there now or not, for yep. example? It helps, like me it helps me plan my entire conference experience. Yeah. There's so much that, that we can do to elevate what you're, what you're showcasing here. And just right. this is just the start of it, so just to prove it out, to show that it works, right. and that it can all be like geo-tagged based on where you are in the, in the conference floor. It's pretty amazing. I don't know why conferences haven't adopted this sooner. It's funny. <laughs> Especially the large ones, right? To right. get around these large conferences. Exactly, because people do get lost, right? Mm -hmm.
Nathan, we're getting a lot of great feedback from people. They see the promise of it. They see where we can iterate, you know, towards the next conference. But yeah, I just love to hear yep. your thoughts specifically as someone who's been overseeing and kind of directing it from AWU's perspective. Yep, uh, as a CMO and XR marketing director, uh, I think it's really important if we're telling the world that like, hey, XR is valuable and you can use it today in a number of use cases. Partnerships like this where we're engaging um, with shops, with people with great XR ideas um, to help show the AWE audience um, what is possible with XR and right, being able to use AR and, uh, to help people understand where they are and to navigate and find those things that they want, um, we see as a really promising uh, application. We've talked a lot about uh, you know, the promise of XR. We've talked about the future devices, the future experiences. But this year on stage, we really had speakers, you know, like Peggy Johnson bringing out tools like Argyle, talking about how these things are valuable now, you know, talking about how uh, we don't need to wait to see value. And that to me shows um, some really amazing improvements in the awareness in the general population, people's exposure to these ideas and terms uh, and brands interest. Uh, and actually doing things, uh, it's going beyond exploration and really starting to build, launch, test, and build those capabilities internally. Right. It, it's a little less, uh, less about the future and more about like what we're learning and building now. Yeah, it's been an amazing show, actually. You know, JB and Tracy and the whole team uh, at Alki Labs. I think we're really excited about what we've been able to achieve here, like coming in. As you've seen, we've gotten a lot of great usage, great feedback from people who are excited to use the app and scan into the digital layer of the AWE Expo Hall and experience all the digital content and information and banners and bathroom finding and food finding. And so it's just really great to see technology that you've been building for quite a while as a team start to find real world use value and get people excited. And we've also learned a lot about what people want to see, like what do they get inspired to think about when they see digital content in a context like this. Many other pieces of learning that we've gathered and we're really excited to keep iterating and bring this to the next AWE. With that, I'll just leave it at, you know, thanks to AWE for giving us this opportunity. And thanks to JB and Tracy and many other folks on the team at Alki for making this possible, and we'll see you at the next event.